one thing which I want to mention here is that when I'm speaking Senge's book, I do not mean the single book which comes for J means or J advanced and has got all the chapters inside it. I'm talking of the different editions of the book or you can say different versions of the book which is there in the form of Senge's calculus, Senge's algebra, Senge's coordinate geometry and other things. Because what happens is that if you are practicing questions from one book which has got all the chapters then you might not get a lot of solved examples you might not get a lot of questions which have a solution at the back of the book so it becomes really hard in the beginning to understand the topic so that's why i would say that please prefer buying different different books for different different subjects as it comes in the market and only then you would be able to understand the topic if in case you get stuck anywhere Okay, so the biggest question which almost everyone has asked me is that Bhaiya, we have got a lot of questions in Sengage. You always used to say us, you reiterate it a lot of times that Sengage is a very very important book and one needs to solve it properly, one needs to do a multitude of questions from it in order to score good in Bitsat in J means as well as J advanced. But if we target only Bitsat, if we are targeting only Bitsat, we don't want to target J advanced, even J means. So what all questions we are expected to do, we are expected to practice from the book. It has got a lot of questions, so we can't do every question. It's practically impossible. So yes, my friend, you are 100% correct. You don't have to do all the questions. Although in this video, in the end, I'm gonna, also going to touch about J means as well as J advanced. But let's get started with the Bitsat portion. So very first thing which you have to do is the salt examples. Every chapter has got a multitude of salt example. Around 30 to 40 salt examples are there in every chapter. So firstly, you have to do all the salt examples. You can refer to the solutions if you are not able to solve the questions on your own. But you have to solve all the salt examples at least one. No matter if you are seeing it or you are not seeing the solution. Right? Coming on to the second point. Second thing are the concept application exercises. Yes. The concept application exercises, you will find them within the theory of the chapter right after the solved examples. So for example, if I'm doing a topic, uh, if I'm doing a chapter on circles, right? And there's a topic on tangent to a circle. So after the theory part, after the formulas, after the standard equation of tangent and etc, etc, you would encounter firstly some one or two solved examples. After the solved example, you will see that there is a section called concept application exercises with around 10 to 15 questions specifically related to the topic just written above so if you are under tangent to a circle then there will be 10 to 15 questions from tangent to a circle with different kinds of variations to it okay so those questions are very very important they are highly important you can't just ignore it the concept application questions have got almost all the varieties of questions that can be framed out of that topic and which have a chance of getting asked in any of the exam Okay, so please, please and please do the concept application exercises. Even if we will do the solved examples as well as the concept application exercises of all the chapters, it would amount to around 200 questions from each chapter in mathematics. And also you would be able to cover all the different variations of the questions. So even doing solved examples along with concept application questions, you would be able to score a very, very good score in your BITSAT exam. Currently, I'm only talking of Bitsat. So for Bitsat, solved examples and concept applications are at least to be done and are a must to be done, right? So if I have to give you an approximate number that how many questions would you be able to solve just by practicing these two things? So out of the 45 questions which come in the Bitsat examination paper of mathematics section, out of 45, you can very easily score, you can very easily solve more than 40 questions if you have properly done these two category of things which are there in the book and one more thing you have to do these things repeatedly you have to revise things repeatedly if you have only done these one once you are not revising the revising the formulas you are not revising the questions you are not practicing them again and again after a few weeks after a few months as a form of revision then you might not be able to score good marks even after solving these all questions so please revise and reiterate in your mind all the formulas and all the different kinds of questions you can also maintain a notebook where you can mention all the important formulas and all the important 
kinds of questions which can be asked from a particular chapter it is going to help you a lot during our revision before the examination now this all is i guess sufficient from bit side point of view apart from this you have to do rd sharma mcq questions which i have already mentioned in previous videos on my channel and the rd sharma which i am talking of is the subjective rd sharma which generally is advisable for your board exam so apart from sangeet do the rd sharma mcqs you are done for bit side if i talk of j means then for j means you have to do the single correct exercises also after completing your solved examples as well as concept application exercises single correct exercises are very important from j means point of view because the level of questions the level of difficulty almost matches the level of j means questions so if you are done with all the single correct questions at least from the important chapters then nobody can stop you from getting a 25 on 25 in your mains mathematics section right so this was for j means just a small difference of single correct questions which you are not to do for bits hat but if you are doing it for bits hat it would be like an icing to a cake okay so you would always get benefited if you are moving ahead if you are moving towards more number of questions and different kinds of questions so for j means add single correct questions also to your cart and finally coming to the j advanced part if someone is aiming for j advanced you want to score a huge amount of marks very good score in the mathematics section of j advanced then i would say you would have to solve almost all the exercises almost all the different kind of questions which are given in the book after single correct you will see multiple correct questions are there match the column are there integer type questions are there obviously and a lot of different kinds of questions are also included in the book so the more number of questions you are doing the more variety of questions you are doing the different kinds of questions you are doing all of this is going to help you a lot in scoring good in your j advance j advance is highly uncertain guys we don't know what is going to come in the paper what would be the negative marking and this is especially because every year a different iit prepares the question paper for j advance so everything is uncertain and the best way to prepare for j advance is to focus upon all the different kind of questions which can be framed out of a particular chapter and sangeet by g tevani for mathematics is the best book i can say if you are preparing for any of the three examinations be it bit sat or j means or j advance even if you are solving two to three times solved examples as well as the concept application exercises it is going to help you a lot and you can easily get 45 on 45 even in your bit sat mathematics section okay guys so i hope this video must have helped you this video must have given you a clarity on how you have to attempt the sangeet book and how important it is not only from bit sat but also from j means and advanced point of view if you are solving the book it is also going to help you in your j means as well as j advanced so rather than focusing solely on bit sat you can also try a hand at means and advanced now hit the like button if you like the video share it among your friends especially share this video to your best friend okay he deserves it he is your best friend and comment below subscribe to our channel press the bell icon why because if you are a bit sat 2021 aspirant I don't think that you can afford to leave all such valuable videos all such valuable content which is going to come on this channel in the form of a tsunami in very short period of time I'm soon going to make videos of on almost every subject targeting bitsat and jmes 2021 specifically focusing on the bitsat part because there are rarely any videos available for bitsat so subscribe to our channel press the bell icon let's meet in the next video till then stay home stay safe keep preparing keep revising keep practicing problems they are very important and jai hind vande mataram